Oh, Russ Airvair TV, welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Hoover Dam. That was a cool little stop. Unplanned, but it was cool. I'm still in awe of that bridge, the span of that thing. That's an Interstate 11 up there. Anyway, we passed on the way coming in the overlook. So I thought we'd uh, check that out on the way out of here. Also, I got on the phone. I'm going to spend the night down at Boulder Beach Campground. They got plenty of room. It's heating up. It's getting pretty warm now in May in the desert. There's their famous check station. The worst part, I had to rip the bed apart to get down to the storage. I don't have easy access. Overall, I don't blame them. You know, it is what it is. They gotta protect this place. Okay, it should be right up the road here. Look at that, we're in Pacific time zone, yay. Probably pretty good view up here. What's left of Lake Mead. Plus guess what? <laughs> They're finding bodies. They're finding uh, deceased people. With the water levels dropping. Alright, here we are. Wow. There is nothing left of this lake. They said it's at 28% when I was down at the dam. Absolutely sad. There's that marina. That's where they found... Uh, it was out on one of the little islands or something down there. Way out, there's a campground I'm going to stay at. But they found a barrel. <laughs> Inside the barrel was a... An unlucky fella, they say clear back from the 70s. Lake Mead National Recreation Area, what's left of it? It'll be here forever. Hopefully this will fill. All the little islands out there that are getting bigger. I think it's Hennaway Bay or something like that. That's where they found that barrel. It was out. The boater found it. Ooh, down there, look, there's that tunnel. That's that pathway we seen from Hoover Dam Lodge. That's a walking trail. Trailhead, whatever they call it. A lot of people go through there. Well, cool. What do you say? Let's head down to that marina. Check that. But, yep, there's what's left of Lake Mead. And it's still dropping, they said. People on the lake. This actually is a really good view up here. Probably the best I've seen. Plus to get here, you don't have to go through security. You could come here without, if you didn't want to go all the way down to the dam. Of course, what's the point? <laughs> if you're gonna come this far, you're gonna go see Hoover Dam. Yeah, that dam was so impressive. I mean, my goodness. Just the size of the structure, how old it is, what it does, generating all that power. I heard that one guy down there that works there uh, saying that with the low water levels, uh, they lose a megawatt. Every time the thing drops a foot or two, they lose a megawatt of power. 
Also, Las Vegas, this thing is all over their news channels. I mean, everything. Because besides the body they found up here at uh, Hennaway uh, Marina, uh, they found another one. <laughs> they just discovered another one that's on the news now. Anyway, it's still a good place to camp. I always love coming up here. I've been coming up here for years, and that will not change, water or no water. Still one of the most pretty, beautiful places on the planet. Nevada, Utah, all this area. Even good old California, up in the Sierras, all those mountains. Death Valley, all of it. Okay, we should be connecting back up. Yep. That's the way we came in, that roundabout. And up here is that Hoover Dam Lodge that we stopped at, coming into place. That's where the trailhead was. Someone asked uh, if you can camp here, and then I don't think so. Overnight, day use. I don't believe there's any camping. With fuel being through the roof, this place will probably stay busy all summer. I mean, Vegas, it's massive. Millions of people live in this area. Okay, right here we make a right... Oh, you know what? Visitor Center. Let's see if it's open. Last time I was here, it was closed because of the COVID stuff. This will actually take us right into the recreation area. Lake Mead Strait, about two miles is Boulder City. Maybe three miles. This is a good little cut around if you're not in a hurry. You don't like driving through Vegas. A lot of people don't. I don't. <laughs> you can go all the way around the lake, end up way up there on uh, Interstate 15. Last fall we came down through here and did that. Okay, right here at the right visitor center. Yep. Looks like cars. Bet we can get in. Everything's pretty much open up now. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Two years of never knowing what was open. So 2022 ought to be pretty good. Looks open to me. I did a live stream out of here. What was that, two years ago? Parking lot was full. You couldn't get inside the building. Just outside. Pretty good map here. Explore Lake Mead. That shows the whole recreation area, how massive it is. There we are. See, we're right on that map. There's that Hennewit Ray Bay Harbor. That's where they got the body, then the other one's up the road. Boulder Basin. Well, what do you say? You want to go in?
Okay, let's go in. Yay. Gift shop. Let's go for the good stuff. What do we got? Find your part. Ooh, fossils. Big horns there. Yeah, they're finding human fossils right now with the lake drop. Ooh, look at the snake. <laughs> Unreal. They claim that's back from the mob days. When the mob ran Vegas. They probably still do, they just don't look the same, huh? <laughs> Pictures. Topographical map. The whole wall is just covered. Well, that gives you an idea how big this is. But Lake Mead's a second. I think Lake Powell's the biggest, isn't it? Matter of fact, I'm thinking about running up there. What do you think? Made a marvel. Video around here a little more and then maybe head up towards Lake Powell. Why not? Wow, look at that snake picture. Oh, pretty cool. It's not very big, but it's definitely worth coming in. Gives you the lay of the land around here. But this topographical display here, look at this. Shows the mountains and everything. Perfect. Cool. Even shows where the dam is. It. It's like a good view out here. Well, <laughs> if there was water, there would be a view. There's parking down there. That's for that trailhead, too. All right, hikers, you probably take your mountain bike on that thing. Lay of the land. All right. To the van we go. down to that marina scope that out then I'm gonna head for that campground then where all those cars are that's parking I mean we were up at that Boulder Dam Lodge that's parking here government parking for the lot for that trailhead, railroad trail, or whatever they call it. All right, I got my senior card out. Free entry. With no water, they should make this free. <laughs> They're still charging to get in. All right, let me show my card. Once again, 
another national area where I used the card. That thing's paid for itself, I don't know how many times over. It's still going. Alright, right here. This should take us right down to the harbor. Marina Harbor. That's a long ways down to the water. <laughs> Probably still launch a boat. I don't know. If you look online at their uh, government website, they list the ones that are open, and then there isn't too many of them. I think I make a right here. Sign said straight ahead's a launch. I don't want to launch. Somewhere up here we should see the old water line where the lake used to be. Wow, we're getting close. These buildings on the right, that's the old uh, marina stores. Looks like they moved everything down. What a challenge for these guys to uh, keep moving. I mean, you got power lines, water lines, the docks itself. Okay, here we go. We're going underwater. <laughs> Wow. This is sad. Sad to see. Think go to the right. Yep. We'd be uh, swimming right now. <laughs> But, you know, in all fairness, Lake Mead's been emptying for decades. I mean, it has never been full since, what did they say, at the back of the dam? 1983. But they said uh, last year alone it dropped over 20 feet from last year. Which it does look different. I was here last September. I didn't drive all the way down in here, but it definitely. I mean, look at this. We'd be underwater. They really don't have much more room to shove those boats out there. They'll have to close this thing. It keeps going down. And somewhere out there. I don't think it was on the harbor side here is where they found that barrel with that uh, deceased person in it. Because they showed, I'm going to park over here, they showed uh, pictures of it online. And all the, it's on the radio here, everything. Lake Mead, and not only the, just finding the bodies, but uh, the low levels, water, power. It's on all the Arizona news channels, too. Alright. Get out of here a second. There are a lot of boats. Look at all of them. All the houseboats. It's a massive waterway. You can still go way out. That don't look open. The little bar restaurant. That's a pile of boats in there. Looks like fuel docks. 
We still got power and water lines run down through here. But with it dropping almost daily, they got to be extending or changing them things. Look at this. We'd be underwater right here. Lake Mead. Way up there somewhere was that overlook. Right up there. There it is. There's the overlook. <laughs> cool. We were just up there. Now it's one big old dry parking lot. Well, they got to do something. They can't keep doing what they're doing. Need a little help from Mother Nature too, huh? But out there somewhere, that direction, I think in one of them islands is where they found the barrel. And the other one's up the road somewhere. Alright, I've seen enough. See on the ground there, they, there's their water lines. A lot of them are broken. And all their power lines for the harbor. Amount of pressure on that pipe. See chunks of it that are broke. That's something. I mean, we're a long ways down there. Look, it's broken there. Huh. It's still worth coming here, though. In my opinion looking forward to staying at that uh, Boulder Beach campground I've driven past it they really stopped at that one then I'm thinking got plenty of time this week I think we ought to go up to Lake Powell too kind of halfway there cut up through uh, Utah, right along the Arizona-Utah border. Yeah, it's all storage containers. That's where the old marina store and everything was, if I remember right. I've never been on the lake in a boat here. All the years I've been here, coming up here. I did my sh fair share of boating, though, years ago, especially in California, along the Sacramento River. Had a good time doing it, but no more. It's RVing now. <laughs> Follow that bus. Back on the main road, should be about, not even a mile up here is that Boulder Beach Campground. We'll stop there for the night. Yeah, tomorrow we can just keep right on this road, take us all the way over to I-15, and might as well, we'll head up towards Lake Powell. Here it is here. Yeah, I'm going to get power tonight. I don't want to dry camp so I can run my air conditioner. <laughs> it's pretty darn warm. Matter of fact, it's hot. Look at all the mobile homes down in here. Now to the left's the dry camp. To the right, 
we get hookups. Cool. Literally cool. <laughs> All right, looks like the office. Yep. Then we go get checked in. Well, I got me a Lakeview site right down here where it used to be the water. <laughs> Van's happy, I'm happy. We're camping tonight. Journey <coughs> continues. Talk soon.